Well, now there has to be a reason why AC changes direction and DC doesn't. So let's take a closer look at the two types of current flow. As we just pointed out, current always flows from the negative terminal of a power source through an externally completed circuit to the positive terminal of the power source. That's true for both types of current, AC and DC. The difference is the operation of the power source. This circuit has a DC power source, a battery. The battery has a negative terminal and a positive terminal. Current flows from the negative terminal of the battery through the circuit, through this resistor, and back to the positive terminal of the battery. In this DC circuit, and in all other DC circuits, current always flows in one direction. The negative terminal of a DC power source, like this battery, is always the negative terminal, and the positive terminal is always the positive terminal. A shorter way to say that is to say that DC power source has fixed polarity. The current it produces always flows in the same direction. Power sources for alternating current are different. They don't have a fixed polarity. The polarity of an AC power source changes periodically. As the polarity of the power source changes, the direction of the current flow changes too. We can get the whys and how from this simplified AC generator. This generator is going to be our AC power source. We'll see how it produces a voltage that causes current to flow through this circuit. And we'll see that current light up this light bulb. The generator produces voltage by means of induction, a process that you may already be familiar with. To review briefly, a voltage will be induced when three things are present. A conductor, a magnetic field, and relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic field. In this simplified generator, this loop of wire is the conductor, and the magnetic field is provided by this magnet. The relative motion comes when the conductor is rotated between the poles of the magnet. There are two more important components in this generator, the slip rings and the brushes which complete the circuit. This is always necessary to get current flow. The slip rings are on the ends of the conductor. They slide against the brushes as the conductor rotates. The current produced by the generated voltage flows through the brushes and then on through the circuit. If we look at the conductor head on, rather than from the side, we can see what happens as the conductor moves through its rotation. We'll take out the slip rings and the brushes in this view so it will be easier to concentrate on the conductor. We'll put the slip rings and the brushes back in a few minutes. Now, as the conductor rotates, it cuts through the magnetic field between the two poles of the magnet. As you can see from this angle, the magnetic field is made up of a number of lines of flux. Each half of the loop of wire cuts through these lines of flux in two different directions, down and up.